Yo guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's GTA 5 video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top 5 working glitches on GTA 5 Online after patch 1.50. So hope you guys do go on to enjoy this video and if you do, please make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe because it does help out a lot and I'm currently on the road to 2000 subscribers. So I hope you guys go on to enjoy this video and let's get straight into the first glitch. So the first glitch in today's video is going to be a new wall breach that was just found recently and it is opposite the hairdressers in the upper area of Los Santos so it is at the Lombank building and I'll show you guys on the map now so it is just in this spot here so once you guys are here you want to bring your car and park it around here and then you guys just want to keep jumping into this little corner that I am jumping into here and you want to make sure you fall down just like that and then it will push you into the building so this is a very good place if you want to lose the cops or just tired away from the friends or something but unfortunately you cannot shoot outside because the windows are bulletproof or they just can't be shot outside of and this whole building is inbound so you won't fall out of the map unless you go outside of the building so as you can see there's a barrier down there and that will push you down the bottom of the map so that was the first glitch of today's video and also this glitch could be used as a kind of good mode glitch because no one can shoot in the inside so you're completely invincible as long as you're inside the building so that was the first glitch so now let's get straight onto the second glitch so in this next glitch this is the new covers glitch which i also just found out recently so you want to make your way over to any closed shore and then you want to make your way over to the desk and once you guys are at the desk you want to go down to outfits heist coveralls and you want to buy any of the outfits with the, the black mask and the coverall outfit so i'm going to buy the black one here and what you guys want to do is bring up your interaction menu and then go down to style and then accessories and once you guys have done that you want to go over to mask and just scroll through the mask until you find the headscarves so as you can see it might take a little while if you have a lot of masks just like me because I had to scroll for quite a while so once you guys have found the headscarves you will see in a second that it takes off the top part of the outfit and just leaves you with the, the cover trousers so now what you guys can do with that is just make a nice cool outfit with it and you can also take off the headscarf as well So now for the third glitch, you guys probably do know this glitch already, but this is the coloured duffel bag glitch using the husky jobs. But unfortunately this glitch is PS4 only, so if you have PS4 you can do this um, glitch. And the job link will be in the description for the one that I do. But if you guys want to do some other ones like red or green or white, then you guys can do that. But I'm going to do the green one in this video, so I will leave the link in the description for that. So what you guys want to do is start the mission and just wait for your friend to join or just a random person to join. So now once someone has joined you should simply go ahead and start the mission because you only need one person to join for this glitch. So now once you load in you should want to press ready to play and then just wait until the job launches. So now as you guys can see I have spawned in with this green duffel bag. So now once you guys have spawned in you just want to bring up your interaction menu and then go to style, accessories and go to gear and go once to the left to equip your earpiece. So now once you guys have done that you just want to bring up your phone and quit the job by using the phone pressing square and x. And now you guys just want to wait until you load back into GTA Online and as you guys can see if you get out of the car, if you spawn in your car, you will see that you have the green duffel bag. So now I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to save this duffel bag. So what you guys are going to want to do is you want to go up to the edge of the sea and then you want to jump off your oppressor or buzzard and you want to land at the very front of the Vespucci mast store just like I do here. 
So you want to be careful of all the trees because if you hit them, it will get rid of your parachute, then you'll land on the floor. Because you want to make sure you land directly in front of the mask door to be able to save this outfit, otherwise the glitch will not work and you might have to do the whole mission again. So as you guys can see all of the trees are around so make sure you do not hit them. And you can see I am approaching this door now. So you just want to hold your left bumper and right bumper so then it zooms in so then you can stay more stable when you land and make sure that you can actually land in front of it. As you guys can see I have landed right in front of it. And I just want to press right on your D-pad on any of the masks or hats and then you want to double save your outfit just to make sure that you have the duffel bag so double save just like I do here so now you guys can just back out and then you want to go ahead and select that outfit like I do here and as you guys can see you will have the duffel bag so now with this duffel bag as well you can still switch outfits which is quite cool so I hope you guys enjoyed that glitch, now let's get straight on to the next glitch. So with this glitch I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a fully invisible body. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you don't have any vehicles around. And then you want to put your location on last location. I do recommend not being in any CEO or motorcycle um, organisations because I find that does help. So now you guys want to bring up your um, pause menu and then go to online rockstar created jobs. And then you want to go to stunt races and find stunt plummet. So there you go, I found stunt plummet. So now you guys just want to start that job up. So now you guys just want to wait until you load into the race. So now you want to make sure you put your race type on point to point non contact. And then you will confirm the settings and then just simply start up the race. So now you guys just want to wait until you load into the mission and then you can just confirm you don't need to change car or anything you can use any car and you just want to start ready to do the race so now you guys don't want to move at all in the race you just want to wait still and then wait for the race to start so you want to wait for the countdown so now you guys do not want to move and look at the bottom right you need to wait until the time reaches five seconds then you want to bring up your phone and then just simply exit the mission from your phone. So now you guys just want to wait until you load back into GTA Online. And you guys will actually see that you now have a fully invisible body, just like I do here. So this is quite a nice glitch, but unfortunately, if you get on a motorcycle or in a car, when you get back out, it will get rid of it. And I'm going to show you guys here that when you die, you do still keep this. As you can see, I'm going to play sticky bomb here and kill myself and show you guys that you still keep the invisible body after dying. So I, I recommend if you do this, do it in the cities and you can just like run around and troll people. Because if you do get in a car, it will get rid of the fully invisible body. So that was the fourth glitch, so let's get straight into the last glitch in this video. So for the final glitch in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys this awesome new um, paint job glitch which has been, it's not really new because it's been around for quite a while, but um, I just found out about it recently. So I'm going to show you that today guys. So you want to make sure you have the chrome colour unlocked and all the metal colours unlocked. So once you've done that, you want to bring any car into Los Santos Customs. And now you just want to go down to um, respray car. Now you guys want to go down to primary and go down to metals and as I said you do need these colours unlocked so preferably the brush steel because that is what you'll probably need to use so what you want to buy that then you want to go up to metallic I accidentally went on to um, classic you want to go to metallic and just scroll through the colours just like I do here but do not buy any of them now you want to scroll really quickly up to chrome 
and you want to simply just go ahead and purchase chrome and then go down to crew and you'll see that your crew color is now a chrome version of the color you previously had before because i'll show you guys in a second that my crew color is not chrome so this is a very cool glitch and i'll show you now that my crew color usually looks like that but it's now a really cool chrome because of this glitch so you, everyone can do this but you need to make sure you're in a crew obviously with a color because otherwise you can't do this so i think this is a really cool glitch to just make your car look quite nice you can also add a person as well to make it just look even better with the reflection so i think this is a really cool glitch to just make your car look quite nice and i'm going to go outside and then show you guys what it looks like using uh, the flashlight in my inventory So as you can see it's got quite a nice reflection and just quite a nice colour with this glitch. So that is the end of the video and I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did please make sure to leave a like and subscribe because as I said I'm on the road to 2000 subscribers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you on my next video. Thanks for watching and peace.